this is the Hypno by Sleepy Circuits. The Hypno is a great way to get started with video synthesis. It's an all-in-one video system in one small package. The Hypno is kind of like a complex video oscillator. So it has two sides that are mirrored right here. And you've got shape one and shape two. To get started, the first thing we'll need to do is plug it in to a composite source. Usually these cables are yellow, this one is white. I'm going to plug it in here and you should do the same on the other side into your monitor or your capture card. So for the two sides, going from the bottom, the slider controls the frequency, so more shape, less shape. The next knob controls the rotation. Then you have your polarizer which takes your shape into circular coordinates. The button controls the shape so the red one is a sine oscillator, which just makes lines. Then you have tangent, which gives you a line that's brighter on one side. Then you have your boxes, and finally, a noise. These can be controlled independently, and all of these controls are mirrored on the other side for the second oscillator. So when the frequency is all the way down, the oscillator is off, so here we'll bring in the first one, and then the second one. The shapes are, can be controlled independently, so can the rotation and the polarization. The polarization is actually slightly different for the two sides, just for added flavor. The center section is the master section. Turning this knob to the right gives you positive gain and to the left gives you negative gain. So in the middle you actually have zero gain, which means that your frame is completely black. When you start turning it to the right, you get a brighter shape. When you turn it all the way, you start feeding the frame back into itself. To the left, you get the same thing, but negative gain, so it's kind of the opposite, the flip side of the shape, and then you have negative feedback, which actually takes the shape and feeds it back into itself with negative gain. There are a couple of modes here for the feedback. First, you have the basic feedback mode, so you can think of this one as the camera simply looking back at the frame and this new image being mixed with the current image. The next one is that image divided into the frame. So you get this pulsing, really kind of digital crunchy look. The next one is feedback, but you can think of the camera as zooming in for this one. So you get a nice, tunneling effect when you start to turn up the feedback. Negative and positive. Here. Final feedback mode is a rotating zooming feedback mode. So not only is the camera now zooming into the frame, it's also a little bit off axis. So as you turn up the gain, you get kind of these nice flowery, more galaxy-like patterns. For this one, the rotation controls actually not only control the rotation of the shapes, but also the axis at which the camera feeds back. So you can get some interesting kind of interactions there. The last knob here is your color knob. It chooses the color for both of the oscillators at the same time. So it chooses a, a color for oscillator one, and then actually based on a palette, chooses a complementary color for this oscillator two. So this goes through all of the colors. It kind of goes through the color wheel. So you can see how it's green here and then green again, but in between are all of the different colors. So this allows you to quickly select and change the mood of whatever you are playing. Each of these controls can be controlled from the rest of your Eurorack. For example, we have Batumi here. What you can do is you can take a steady sine oscillation from Batumi. You can see the LED actually flashing at the rate that the sine is going. And if I plug this in to get a simpler thing here, if I plug this into any of these controls, like for example, here we have a line drawn straight to the slider, which will control the frequency of that oscillator. The same goes for the rest of the controls. On the bottom here, we have a trigger in for the shape of the oscillator. So if I plug in a square shape, so let's it's going a little faster. You'll actually start to see this LED change with the modes of that oscillator. 
This allows you to very quickly add a nice rhythmic element to whatever your patch happens to be. And also changes the lights in a cool light show. Advanced controls. If you hold one of the buttons on each of the oscillators, the LED will start flashing. This means that your controls are now in an alternate state. This is now your speed control. In the middle has the oscillator standing still. If you take it up, the oscillator starts to move in one direction. If you take it down, the oscillator starts to move in the opposite direction. You can control these independently for the two oscillators and get some interesting mixing when you add it to the feedback and all of those kinds of things. Hold the feedback selection and you can see how these are red. If, I, if these turn green, this actually starts to take the feedback frame and feed it into the shape of that oscillator. This allows you to make these really cool kind of noisy textures or not. It's, it can be a little unpredictable because it is feedback, but it's fun. There you have it. This is the Hypno. It's a great way to get into video synthesis because it's a compact sort of module that does everything from shape generation to modifying that shape, mixing it, and also colorizing it. So you can drop this into your rack, instantly add a cool visual to your performance, and have it sync up with whatever you're playing. It is the first of what I hope is many digital video synthesizers. I'm planning to add a lot of cool new features to this. Uh, there's a little more that already can be done with the patching interface, and we have some plans for that. Urex synthesizers, now with digital video. That's the Hypno. Get one. <laughs>